Well, Matt, just going back one last time to, to last week against UCLA, just what a fantastic atmosphere at the venue and a quality performance by your team against a, a top-notch program. Well, it was an incredible atmosphere for sure. You know, a record-setting crowd, and they played their role. You know, it was a lot of fun, and long may that continue in the future, obviously, and that's something we'll look to build upon. But, you know, in terms of the game, I thought, you know, our endeavor deserves something to get something out of the game, which it got something, but... Uh, We'd obviously love to win at home, but again, I'm, I'm pleased for our seniors, I'm pleased for the people that are there to watch, and it bodes well, obviously. Matt, you go on the road for the last three weekends, and that presents a whole new set of challenges, and it starts with Oregon State Friday night. Absolutely. I mean, when it comes to the Pac-12, you know, obviously we've talked before about your home games, you know, winning your home games, and that's no different for any team, but... Going on the road presents a huge challenge, and it starts, as you said, with Oregon State, who playing well, ranked all year, uh, tough to score on, you know, let alone play them on the road. So it's going to be a big challenge for us, but I think it's one that our team looks forward to, obviously, coming off of the, the results we've had at home. You have put yourself in a position now where you sit in second place in the conference. Does, maybe that makes you a little <laughs> more of the, of the hunted than the hunter, but is that something you guys have to worry about now as, as being – you know, not maybe not be. I'm not saying your team's not as hungry, but if you get where I'm going with just being on top of it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think our team's done a really good job of taking one game at a time. You know, it's an old cliche, but they really have. Um, you know, to be perfectly honest, we weren't quite sure where we we're at or what we're doing in in terms of where standings go because that's something that we can only control as with each opponent we play. So. You know, we're delighted that we're getting attention and we're delighted that people are aware of who we are, whether it be you know the, the top 25 rankings or so on and so forth. But really that doesn't help us play the game. And I, I've really enjoyed the focus of this group and their attitude to training and their discipline and focus to training. So we'll hopefully prepare accordingly and be ready to go on Friday against Oregon State. We saw Mariah Cameron back on the field uh, against UCLA just feel like you're getting a little bit healthier, maybe extra, extra rest after just the one match last week? Yeah, Mariah slowly but surely is making her way back, and she's done an incredible job to even be in consideration right now, obviously ahead of schedule. Um, we're hoping to get a few others back, but in, injuries are part of a season, and you know when somebody else is injured, it's somebody else's opportunity. And I'm, I'm really pleased, like we've talked about before, the depth of our squad where... We haven't skipped a beat. You know, we missed Mariah and we missed the others too. But you know, now it's somebody else's time, and they're 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 grasping that opportunity. So it's exciting for the team that we can perform with that. But it's definitely exciting to get Mariah back, and hopefully we get the the others back in the next few weeks or so. And then just speaking about your your depth, just having a, a couple of players, obviously, in in Brandy Vega and Jocelyn Jeffers, who have who've put up a lot of goals, a lot of assists this year. You've had a lot of other people contribute in one way or another, but that's got to make you more difficult for a, for an opponent to prepare for, I would think. Yeah, I think our you know I think our depth of our own squad allows us to adjust whether we're at home or on the road. I think you know we're capable of playing in different styles, which is which is served us well especially being on the road our schedule has prepared us you know if you think it's no coincidence that our schedule had us a block at home and then a block on the road once we knew the Pac-12 schedule so credit to Jason for that and you know it, we we can buy multi-dimensional and multi-functional and multi you know whatever we need to be and that's that's exciting for us to be in that position so yeah, we're a handful for any team that we come across, obviously, and th that's shown in terms of the results we've gotten at home and on the road this year. So it, it, it's an exciting time to be part of this, and they're a fun group to work with. Well, as always, thanks for the time, and best of luck on the road. Thank you.